Yeah, lots of ducks there, huh? We will. Okay, I'm gonna teach you something important now. The ducks don't want you to get near them. Okay? They don't want you to get too close. So this is what you do. You throw them some food, you feed them. Otherwise known as baiting them to get close to you. And then say you had a bow and arrow or something like that. And, and you wanted them closer, so you had a chance to get one of them. This is what you would do. You throw food to them, okay? So we're able to get this close to them because we're throwing them food or feeding them or we're baiting them. You gotta throw it. See? You started moving towards them and they moved away from you. So if you throw the food first, they won't run away from you. Try it. Throw the food. Like this. See, I threw it first. There you go. See, they're not running away from not running away now. That's the difference that that feeding them before you get them makes. They're gorgeous, huh? They're gorgeous. There's a lot of them here. They can talk like that. There's a lot of them here. They can talk like that. They can talk like that. They can talk They do. They say quack, quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, lots of them. There's one right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're flying in and everything. <laughs> Dinner. Yeah, oh yeah, dinner's up. They're all excited. They're all here to eat. <laughs> I do love them. They are so gorgeous. Look at this guy. Two feet in front of us. We have some some coming behind us now too. So there are some with with green necks. All right, so let's see what our book has to say. Let me see if I can find the ducks in this book. You can get close to them, sure. Practice getting close. Make sure you throw the food first. So my book, Sophie, if you come and look, Yeah, see this one? <laughs> With the green head. Looks like this one right in front of us, right there. there. It is the same duck. Same, same, huh? Same, same. 
That one right there. That's called a mallard. A mallard. Yeah. Yeah, so so this is what you do. You you use a book to learn about these different things that you want to know about. Oh, that one has a limp. He has a he has a boo boo on his leg. That would be a good one to take out first. Yeah, he has a boo boo. So that that would be a good one to take if you needed one. So yep. Yep. So this is a cool book, Pond Life by Golden Guide. It's got ducks and mallards and snakes. Has yep, Canadian geese in here. Snipes and loons, blue herons. I mean, all sorts of things. Turtles, salamanders, fish. Super cool book. Clams. Mosquitoes, all sorts of things, insects, dragonflies, anything that lives near ponds. This thing's all over. It's even plant too. Alright, that one does have a booboo on its leg, you're right. Even has plant life. And even has um, different classifications for ponds and lakes and where the oxygen is and where you can find things. Fish at different times. Cycles. You're right. Wow, they're real close to us now, huh? We're only a couple feet away. Okay, you be careful. Yeah, be careful with this boo boo. Yeah, he has a boo boo on his leg right there. It's actually his left leg. His left leg is a boo boo on. Nope, he doesn't have the booboo. The different one. <laughs> okay, throw one more and say bye. He has a booboo on his left leg. Yep. On his left leg. Right near his ankle. Bye, Mallards. Bye. That's fun. All right, as we mentioned, it is Bobble. Make sure you do just come and see sport. Just want to have a little fun at a lake with my daughter and teach her about baiting and things like that. See you guys in the next.